Hi everyone, welcome back to more NG! So we just escaped the Urashima woman... woman, it's weird to say it in English, Urashima Unna, um, at the lake. So now I'm not sure... we have a couple items. I think if I go back to the entrance it's just gonna be the dude like, do you want to switch? So I don't think we need to do that. But I forgot if it was left or behind me. I'll try left first. Okay. Droplets of water echo across the lakeside. Hey look, a boat! Maybe the wind drifted it here. Or someone wants us to go on the lake. But, let's go! Boat, boats wash ashore. Don't see any oars in it though. Uh, do we need that? Hmm. We haven't found anything that could... yeah. Uh, just shy of being grounded. If I pull it in, I can check inside. Oh, do that. If we form a chain, we can reach it. Give me a hand, Hazuki. Oh, kitty! Alright, I'll help. We position, our, we position ourselves so I'm closer to the water and hold hands. Okay, let's go. I lean out over the water. Just a little further. Try harder. I can't hold on any longer. I'm gonna fall in the lake. Hazuki's hand starts to slip from mine. There. Oh, Jesus, dude. At the last second, my hand catches the edge of the boat and I yank it to shore. Whew, I'm glad we managed to get it here. Sorry for the trouble. It's fine. It was a good stretch. <laughs> Time to search the boat. All that's inside is, a, is the trashed skeleton of an umbrella. <clears throat> You're actually going to take that? Shut it. It could be useful for later somehow. Sure, sure. Maybe it'll come in handy. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> okay, that was the boat. We checked all the rest here. What was that again? Just a notice, right? Ink's blurred. Worse faded. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go back. We need to find something where Hazuki will say like, I can't do that or something. Hi! <laughs> you wanna come on my lap? Yeah, jump! Come on! Yeah. <laughs> He's like looking onto my... He was like, he put his paws on my on my leg, being like, "What's what you got over there?" Come. No, okay. Um, so we fought her here. Maybe we should go back and check the main lake again. Although I don't think there's anything. There's anything? Yeah, this could use boat rental booth. <laughs> Shutters are locked. Is there anything we can use to open it? Metal wire? Only good for binding something like... Tama-chan. Found in the trash. Dirty necktie. Number of twigs hanging off of it. Type pin. Thicker than the rest. The pin itself is thicker than the rest. Seems like it's the sturdiest part. Hair ornament. Hmm. The book. The umbrella. Bare metal arms showing. Could we just grab ores from here maybe? Rental boat floats beside the dock. I bet I could get to Dugu Island in this, but I'm missing some important equipment. No sign of the oars. Isn't it a rental boat? Then shouldn't they be in that shack there? Ah, they probably put the oars away after the park closes. Okay, so we need to get inside here. Need to break into this. Um, I think we can use the wires of the umbrella. 
No. Um, maybe the pin? No. I was thinking maybe as a lockpick or something. Hmm. No. Do you think maybe... Wait, let me... Look, let me just observe it again. If there's any place that have ores, it'd be here. Looks like we'll have to do something about the shutter lock if we want to check inside. Lockpicking isn't a part of my job as an idol. I know, I wasn't expecting it to be. The haunted locations I sneak into are always outdoors or in abandoned buildings. I think he'd be more familiar with that, with who his family is and all. I was just thinking, maybe Seiji knows how to lockpick. Amanome, right. He at least... He would at least know more than us. I could use force on it, but it's probably better to not make a bunch of unnecessary noise. If I want to check the rental booth, I should go back and bring Amanome here. Got it. Okay. Okay. Oops, sorry. No. Back it up. Okay. Let's switch. <clears throat> Chase okay. Amanome. Okay. <laughs> Makase toke. All right, sorry Hazuki, you'll have to stay behind. Right, the least I can do is keep a thorough eye out here. Aw, oh, she's so cute! Look at that! It's the first time we see a full body shot. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, her turn to make the call. Number styled and yep, there's the ringing from the security station. The dude must be like, man, I'm getting so many calls tonight. <laughs> Let's go. I vault over the gate and take off like a shot. And then Seiji takes his time to climb after me. <laughs> okay, here you go. Shutters won't open, looks like it's locked. If there's any place that whores be here. Whores, force. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we'll have to do something about the lock. It's a cheap cylinder lock. How basic. I could open this easily. <laughs> there we go. Really? Well, you are the son of a Yakuza. Whoa, hey, that has nothing to do with this. I have my own reasons for learning. Which were? A while back, I was convinced Pops had locked up a gun in the safe in his studies. I had a phase where I, was all where I was all about them, so I went through a lot of trouble to open it. Yeah, now BB's on my lap. So I pretty much learned the basics of picking locks. And did you find it? The gun? Yep, it was there all right. A fine gun-shaped lighter, appearing real in every way right down to the weight. Apparently your friend of Sicily gave it to him. Your dad is uh, playful. It's a real problem for the family. Oh, I got off topic. Let's focus on this. I'll need tools to pick locks. I can make them from random junk, but do you have anything on you? What kind of things do you need? Let's see... Two things that should be doable. A tension wrench stand-in and a thin, sturdy metal wire. I'll check my bag. Get me two decent substitutes, substi substitutes and I might be able to do something. I should have those. Let's try... The tie pin? Hmm, I see. Get one other item that looks like it would work for lockpicking and show both to me then. Okay. Then how about this one? Hand the metal wire to Amanome. Hmm. If you think about it, I don't think we can use either of these. Oh. The type in is too big and the metal wire is too soft for use as a thin, sturdy metal wire. Clearly neither can be a wrench stand-in. I'll give these back to you. Do you have anything better? Hmm, fuck. So neither of those. Um, how about the hair ornament? Hmm. Okay. I can only think of this. Hair ornament pin could be used as a thin sturdy metal wire. If I mess with the broken umbrella it might be usable as a wrench stand-in. I approve. You pass. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Amanome! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Mind if I take these apart? Sure. 
Knock yourself out. Just found them lying around. Okay. Okay. Hajimario. First, could you use your strong muscles to take this umbrella apart? Piece of cake for you, yeah? Well, yeah. He hands me the broken umbrella and I follow his directions on dismantling it. I hook the umbrella skeleton to a pole and yank out the shaft. Once I pull off the rest of the pieces, I start folding the shaft. Huh, not bad. Looking good. Hey, is this really going to work? Don't worry, don't worry. It's a simple tool. Hand it over. You're done. Here, all yours. I hand the dismantled umbrella to Amanome. <coughs> He starts breaking it up and bending pieces. Ah, this thing's pretty sturdy. Kinda surprised you were able to snap them so easily. You just gotta build up some strength. I could train you sometime if you want. Nah, I'll pass. I'm more the type to let others do the heavy lifting for me. <laughs> Alright, it's done. Here it is, the makeshift wrench. Now please hold for just a moment, honored customer. What store are we in suddenly? <laughs> Amanoma takes apart the hair ornaments and straightens the pin portion. Then he shoves the stick made from the umbrella and the pin into the keyhole. He fiddles around for maybe 10 seconds before stopping. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm done. The shutter's unlocked. You're shitting me. It's already open? Is it that surprising? Anyone can do it as long as they have the right tools. Though I may have used a bit too much force and kind of broke the, 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 broke the tools. Come on, let's hurry and check inside. Right. Cool. You know, I was thinking, what if we went through all this and it ends up that the ores aren't in there? Don't even think that. <laughs> Don't jinx it, dude! I open the shutter and slide open the window. This'll work. They're normally right around... Shining my flash flashlight around this dusty shed, I spot ores in different colors lined up on the wall. Cool. Ah, boring. They're actually in here. Of course they are. Let's carry these back to the boat. What? I'm asking nicely. <laughs> oh, someone's calling me. Yo. Oh, it's you, Husky. What's up? Things might be moving over here. A guard just went into the park. I think he's going on patrol. You should hurry and get out of there. Got it, thanks. You should just get on the boat and go to the island. What's up? Hazuki says a guard is coming this way. Not good. Guess we better beat it then. We've got no other choice. Let's use cover to make our way back to the entrance. Aw, really? I wanted to go on the boat, fuck. When we reach the central plaza, Amanome stops running in front of me. Mazuina. Mazuina. Guards coming towards us. Over by the exit, a bouncing light that looks like a will-o'-the-wisps will approaches. It can only be light from the guard's flashlight. Getting caught is the last thing we want. Should we dive for the bushes over there? Kind of far. It'd be easier to knock them out. So barbaric. Even try solving your- ever try solving your problems without using your fists? Come out through a rock, die for bushes. Bushes. Ah, oh, really? I'm gonna know my bad idea. Ah, oh, fuck. Dash over and slip behind the bushes. I'm gonna know my moves to follow me. He's too slow. Who's there? Flashlight immediately finds me. I see it. We make it out the main entrance, but we get caught by the cops called in for backup out in front. Hmm. No, <laughs> immediately in prison. Okay. Try again. What would I do? Throw a rock? I would definitely not knock him out. It seems a bit over. It seems a bit too much. Okay, good. <clears throat> I scoop up a rock from the pavement. What are you going to do? Be quiet and watch. 
pull my arm back and throw the rock at the flashlight. Whoa! My aim's true. The rock strikes the flashlight and knocks it out of his hands. Jesus! Not bad, not bad. Now's our chance to hide. I dive for the bushes and hold my breath. Why you just hide? The guard picked up the flashlight again and is coming closer. I'll find us at this rate. Can you distract him with another rock? I'll try. I need him as far away as possible. A loud sound might do it. Fuck. Fountain or a lamppost? Lamppost? Okay. Whew. <laughs> Stressful. Toss the rock at the lamppost on the other side of the plaza. The rock strikes the glass covering over the light and shatters it. What? What was that sound? The guard moves away from us in order to check from the for the source of the sound. Hey, what are we gonna do? Isn't this the perfect time to run? Uh, run away, let Amanoma escape first. Let him go? Yeah, because I'm the faster one, so this is his chance. We're too visible if we both go. You run first. Good idea. That way we can back each other up. He nods to me and quietly leaves the bushes. I wait a few beats, but it doesn't seem like the guard noticed Am Amanome running. Pretty safe bet that he escaped. But now I have a problem. I can't move from my spot. The guard won't leave. Suddenly, muffled ringing comes from the guard's chest. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's just my phone. A rattled guard ans answers his phone. His attention is directed towards the call. That was probably my only chance to escape. But first, these big oars will attract too much... <laughs> Too much attention. I didn't know he still had them on him. If I carry them around with me. I'll hide them here. Easy enough to grab when I come back next time. Cool. Or is in the bushes. That done, I silently slip from my hiding spot and head towards the main entrance. Clear! I did it. Hop back over the gate, and now I'm back at the entrance to Yamato Shrine. Hazuki waves to catch my attention from across the Tori gate. Amanome stands next to her, his phone to his ear. He smirks when he spots me and puts his phone away. When I saw Amanome come back by himself, I started panicking. I thought he left you behind. I was this close to slapping him. <laughs> Shocked and offended. Do I look so cold-hearted that I do that to my best friend? I threw in the Hail Mary, so Gabu, did it help? <laughs> Sounds like Amanome was the one who called the security guard. Yeah, though I could have managed just fine without your help. Dude, that's no way to say thanks. Ah, uh, look at you being shy. Don't make me punch you. Come on, lovers, quit messing around and let's get out of here. The guard will be back any second now. We leave Yamato Shrine. Well, that concludes our first encounter with the uh, Urashima Onna. I think we're f we've gone far enough. We stop for a breather and share the info we gathered. That was really dangerous. If it would be anyone other than you, they would have been caught. Such precise aim. We got so close, we managed to find the ore. I really wanted to go to Ryugu Island. I didn't think the Urashima Onna actually existed. So the Lunkhead finally accepts it. Yeah, I believe it. It's not just your word, Gabu. Now there are two witnesses. I have no choice but to. Seeing a real one was so intense! Now I know how fans who line up for hours for idols meet, meet in greets feel. Kinda makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Even after all of that, she looks like she's ready to go back and do it again. In a way, she's pretty dependable. But... What's up with that scene you saw through your blood metry? You mean how someone was trapped in the suitcase? It looked shady. But if that's what the Udeshima woman saw before she died, it might be connected to her source. I still, I still think it was the baby in the suitcase. Source? It's what makes the it what makes it's what makes a person turn into a ghost or spirit. It's usually an event that ca that caused them to be left with a grudge or regret. Jewel, grudges, huh? Hey, you there. Wait, who's this? 
Holy shit, who are you? Middle-aged man I don't know approaches us. What the fuck? He looks cool. What were you doing at Yamato Shrine? What were you doing there? Place is off limits at night right now. Why are a bunch of punks coming out of there out of there at this time of night? Seems this guy saw what we were doing and followed us over here. Things will get messy if he snitches to the cops or something. Could punch to the face if I shut him up. <laughs> I'm about to pull back in preparation. When Amanoma grips my fist. We wouldn't want to make a scene in a place like this, now would we? Leave this to me, Gabu. Okay. He lightly pats my shoulder and turns towards the guy. We have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps you've mistaken us for someone else? Go ahead, play dumb. But I've got proof. I took pictures of you. What? And that kid in black there. The shrine is pitch black at night. You couldn't possibly have clear photos. You're basically pushing an empty threat, right? You talk big, all grown up. You don't seem to be afraid of anything at all. Isn't that right, Seiji Amanome? Fuck! Ah, you know who I am. All lightheartedness drops from his tone. He's ice cold now, his ice sharp. Oh. Oh yeah, I know very well. You're the only son of the boss of the Amanome family, Taizo Am Am Amanome. Treating me like a criminal because I'm a Yakuza son is a violation of my civil rights. Stop pretending like you're innocent. I know who you are under that sheep disguise. I know very well what sort of shithead you really are. Profiting off fight betting is just the start. You use that money and your underworld ties to dig up people's weaknesses and threaten them. I hear both politicians and high-ranking members of the police force are already in your pocket. Quite the balls on you at your age. Ah, there was an opinion piece like that in one of those trashy weekly rags. The Prince of Threats lurks in the darkness of Shinza. The truth revealed, was it? Ah, uh, see you journalist. Although, as I recall, this so-called Prince of Threats wasn't named. Of course I know it's you. I was the one who wrote the article. Yeah, fuck. Tabloid dude. I see. Those are the worst in these kind of games. So that must make you the rumored ban. Ban. You know of me. I'm honored. I guess that article put a bit of fear in you. No, I only remember it because the headline was so tasteless. Mr. Bun, would it be fine with you if you withdraw for today? It's not exactly pleasant being defamed in front of my friend. Amanome pulls a few 10,000 yen bills out from his wallet. Looking at them, Bun's smile is, Bun's smile is vulgar. Sure, fine. I'll give you some time to consider. I'm nice towards children like that. The guy snatches the bills and shoves them into, the pocket, into a pocket in his pants. Jeez, he takes the money? He didn't even hesitate. He must make these sorts of deals all the time. Ugh, dirty tabloid dude. All right, I'll make contact with you another time. Look forward to it. Don't think you can run. I already know what you look like. And also, be more careful if you're going to pursue looking for spirits. Information is your greatest weapon. Investigate. If you if you don't think about what you're doing, you'll get yourself killed. Who the fuck is this asshole? The man then disappears into the crowd. Who was that guy? Why does he know about spirits? He's a journalist, right? Monthly... I don't know how to say it. Oop! Arts. <laughs> O-O-P Arts. O-O Parts. O-O-P Arts. Writes about spirits, so maybe he's an occult journalist? He's not that above the board. Nao Masaban. He's an infamous unethical writer type. Putlums who dig into the dealings of Yakuza and businesses to find scandals to profit off of. Person like that knows about spirits? That's rather strange. Not necessarily. I mean, I've heard of an idol who's crazy about the occult. That's kind of rude, <laughs> but I can't deny it. Just leave that guy to me. I'll take care of him. Hey, just what are you planning on doing? Don't ask, dude. I'm a gentleman. I won't do anything rough. We'll just have a nice talk. No problem. All right, let's wrap this up for tonight. How about we meet again at the bar tomorrow night? Same time as today. Then I'm going to head off now. I gotta stop by my agency. 
My manager is keeping the fact that I'm going out at night secret from them. I gotta give him a gift to keep his mood up. I'm surprised he even allows it. Well, he's easily out of a job if I just say the word. Oh, damn, I may have mentioned the fact when I got him to cooperate. Jeez, pressuring him, huh? You're terrible. I'll be the devil himself if it's for Ami and the Urashima Onna. See you guys tomorrow. He watches as she walks into the station. It's better that she's like that than the type who cries at the drop of her head. Even though she's not remotely in my strike zone. <laughs> Time we, we were going to. You're going to stop by the office? The Amanoma family office is by the convenience store I pass on my way home. Yeah, let's head that way together. You met that Brett Kakia around here, right? Yeah, she was standing right over there. Point out the stairs by the underpass. What was it she said? Something like... Kakuya will play with you next. Let's play the Urashima Onna game. Look for the Urashima Onna. I'm just saying Onna now because it's so much easier to pronounce. If you don't play with Kakuya, you'll disappear too. And Ami will never come back. <clears throat> Something's itching my arm. Like one... one hair or something. Look for the Urashima Onna, huh? You and Hazuki seem to have seen her, but... I wonder what she's trying to make you do. No clue. Ask Kakia. She's not appeared since. I haven't heard or seen a single thing. Maybe she's watching you from somewhere as you run around in her game. It's a delicious feeling, using a person's weakness to threaten and control them. It never gets old. <laughs> You're messing up in the he You're messed up in the head, you know that? Regardless, one needs to have a care in who they're threatening. Threats only work against those who find value in their lives and status. They don't work against idiots who court danger. Someone like you, for instance. Well, I do care about my sister. Thanks a lot. We keep tossing insults at each other as we walk through the dark alley. <clears throat> Excuse me for just a sec. Is he gonna pee? <laughs> oh no. He moves a few steps away and pulls his pulls out his phone. Here he goes. Whenever Amanoe makes a call, he has a habit of stepping away from people around him. Especially if it's a questionable topic. Guess he doesn't want others to overhear. But my ears are pretty sharp, so I still manage to hear most of what he's talking about. Hey, it's me. Gather all you can about a journalist named Naoma Saban. Criminal record, family, debt, hobbies, kinks, everything. Make it quick. You pretty much caught everything that he was saying. Thanks for waiting. What are you planning? You hurt me then. I forget how good your ears are. Just preparing for a little talk. Knowledge of the opponent is a basic tenet of negotiation. And it is negotiation, right? Not intimidation? This list sounds more like a search for a weakness. <laughs> Funny. Pretty rich coming from you. His grin is pleasant and mild, like usual. He looks like a picture-perfect popular guy, but he hides a demon inside. Guess I'll let the Prince of Threats do his thing. That guy will learn the truth of his own article personally. Serves him right, though. Yeah, you shouldn't have gone poking over there. There it is. By the way, that journalist said something strange before he left. Something about gather information on spirits? Now that he mentioned it, we don't actually know anything about the Urashima Onna. But what are we supposed to investigate? Hmm. Her source, I would say. Good idea. Hazuki mentioned that too. That the source is related to this reason a dead person becomes a spirit. Yeah, I think if we know... If we learn how she became a spirit, what happened to her, we, can, we probably know what she needs to um, move on. If that was what you saw in your blood metry vision, then maybe we need to look into other incidents that have happened at the Yamato Shrine. Oh! Mr. Seiji! Gabu! <laughs> hey, dude. 
Out of the convenience store pops Maruhashi. He's carrying a bag of fried food. Guess he's getting a midnight snack. Maruhashi. Perfect timing. You can look into this. Huh? Something I can help you with? Look into all incidents that happened at Yamato Shrine. You have until tomorrow night. Understood? Tomorrow night? <laughs> That's kind of a, a rush. Is it? Are you saying you're complaining about an order I've given you? Oh, by the way, I don't think you paid last you paid last month's membership dues. Uh, that's uh. Well, my father's a busy man. I'm sure he hasn't noticed yet. I could let him know. <laughs> Mr. Seiji, have mercy, please. Keep it a secret from the boss and the superiors for my sake. I'll do whatever you say, please. I beg you. Well, that depends on your work performance. So, I'll leave this job to you. <laughs> Whatever you ask, sir. I'll work harder on it than anything I've ever done in my life. You can count on me, Gabu. Good. Your face is... He's putting his hopes in you. Now is your chance to make up for the trouble you caused him, Maruhashi. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Alright, I have some things I need in the store, so let's part here. Marahashi, you come with me. You'll carry my bags. Yes, sir! It would be an honor! <laughs> Please pardon me, Gabu. <laughs> it's funny. I watch the two of them enter the store and then begin walking towards my apartment. I always say towards with an S instead of toward. I don't know why. Today was exhausting. I should hurry and go to my room. Something spooky gonna happen? <gasps> Oh my god, what is that? She left an imprint on your door, dude! What's this stain? Kinda looks like a person. That's fucking creepy. I touch the stain on the door and I realize it's mud. Oh my god! What a half-ass prank. Someone just like... The Urashiwana just like... <laughs> flopped against the door. It's a pain but I'll have to clean it later. I'll just leave it for now. She's inside, dude. Ah! Oh my god. Huh? Dude, when I step inside, the floor is covered in stains like the ones I saw earlier. How does she know where you live? Crouching down to look closer, they look kind of like footprints. What the hell is this? Why does it stink like sewage? Oh god. Hee! She's right here! Could it be? She followed you, dude. The thing I saw at the lake. Open the door to the bathroom. I kinda want to. Yes! I need to brace myself for anything. I move slowly to towards the door to open it. A strange chilling pressure like an icy breeze seems to be coming from it. Decision made, I reach my hand out to grab the knob. Who's at the door? It's me, you in there? Open the door. Wait, what's so urgent? Yeah. I open the door and Amanoma steps inside. Sorry for coming by after we just parted. I found something interesting so I came all the way back. He hands me a strange drink and... <laughs> he just found a drink, dude? <clears throat> they had it at the convenience store. Store, not story. First typo found. Thought it might be remiss by not showing it to you too. Look, Tomato Baron of the Night. Isn't that the dumbest name you've ever heard? Dude, behind you. What's wrong? You look put out. Wait, what happened in here? The front door, this room, all covered in mud. Well... I tell him what happened after I came back. She's still there, dude! I see. So the Urashima woman is in your bathroom. Is that what you're saying? If I really heard that voice, then yeah. Okay, nothing to it but to go inside and check it out together. <clears throat> After you, of course. I was going to check it before you showed up. Alright, I'm going on. Ready when you are. I open the door and step inside. Is she in the bathtub? Oh no. The light clicks on and the bathroom looks normal. No trace of that chilling presence I felt earlier when I got close to the door. 
Now look, you got me riled up for nothing. You sure you weren't dreaming? I would not sleep in that apartment. I'm sure I heard a strange voice. What about the mud? Yeah, they look like footprints and sure, there's a person-shaped mark on the door. I'm loath to even consider this, but maybe this is what people call being haunted? That was my guess too. The Urashima Honda seems water focused, so maybe she can appear in similar places. Bathrooms, water pipes, sewer drains outside, manholes, things like that. Oh, maybe sh that's why my bathtub got all funky because I turned on the water so there was enough water for her to appear. Don't joke around. Well, it looks like she's not here anymore. Why do you think that? Why? No reason. I mean, she's a ghost. Besides, if sh if she was here, she would have attacked us by now. That aside, we should probably clean up. You don't want to sleep in such a mess, do you? Ah, uh, is he gonna help me? That's nice. Good friend. <clears throat> Two of us spent about an hour cleaning the apartment of mud. Now that th now that that's done, I'm going to head back. What a good friend. I feel like I'll break out into goosebumps the longer I'm here. You're just gonna let me sleep here? Cut that out. See you later. Amanami turns and leaves. Damn, I would not sleep in there. Holy shit. Once she's once he's gone, I once he's gone, I collapse into my bed. What if it's raining? Can she just move anywhere then? I'll shower in the morning. I don't really want to get near the bathroom while the sun's up. Until the sun's up. Maybe I'll leave the light on too. I wonder if this means the Yurashima Onna followed me home. That college girl who died a few days after she threw a rock in the lake. Maybe what hap maybe what's happening to me is what happened to her. The longer I stay awake, the more my thoughts go into a downward spiral. Better not think about it. I quickly close my eyes and try to go to sleep. But there's no way I can fall asleep that fast. Starting with the dirty water, strange things have been occurring in my apartment. Plus, there's this creepy sensation like I'm not the only one here. <clears throat> Seems impossible that I'll be able to conk out. Conk out. But my body is tired down, down to my bones. My consciousness gradually... Oh, that just went ahead and disappeared. What's that? Next day? Yes, I would like to save. And I would like some tea. Okay. <sighs> Urashima Woman, rumor notes three. Jesus Christ. Was that necessary? Fucking hell. Sorry, kitty. Big Boss is sleeping on my lap. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. I don't know if... I think I can show you guys. Let me... Give me a sec. Um, if I do... This? Oh, it's so tiny. One sec. There he is. <laughs> Hi, kitty. You're all cam. Yeah. He's just sleeping here. <laughs> um, I gotta get some milk. You wanna smell it? Does that smell interesting? Ooh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> they say that because indoor cats are a little bit bored usually. It's nice if you let them... It's nice if you let them sniff things. Um, because, like, it's interesting for their senses and makes them less bored. So I always let him sniff things. I don't let him eat anything or drink anything that I would drink or eat, but... I always let him sniff. Okay. Let's get back to business. Yeah. Hey. Cool break. Yeah. Such a cute kitty. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bletmetry was a success. I saw the Urashima woman. Saw a trapped person as well. Was it a murder? The suitcase? I have to put this book in too. What did she mean? Had encounter with her. And baby, tell me. What does she want to know? Yeah, she wants to know about her baby. Oh, that was the last page. This is the first one. Yeah, this is the beginning. Okay. Let's go. 
the 2nd of August. Bow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. I rave at Black Rabbit earlier than usual. Mm. That's me, so. Oh, Gabu. Oh, Natsumi's here. Of course, this is her place. She looks even more tired than she did two days ago. Sorry we haven't had much time to talk. I've just been so worried about Ami. It's fine. Did you find anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. The case moved to public investigation, but they still, have, still, still don't have any good leads. One female detective seems sympathetic, so at least there's that. I see. If Gakia really did take her, then there's no point to the cops running around. I'm the only one who can do something about this. I need to deal with the business with the Yurashima woman first. Now I'm saying woman again. I'm so weird! Oh yeah, Anatsumi writes horror novels. Oh yeah! I just totally forgot. Maybe I can ask her. I gotta try everything for Ami. What is it? Do you have a minute right now? Yeah, I have a little time. I do have to leave soon though. Have you ever heard of the Urashima Onna? Isn't that the ghost that people say appears at Yamato Shrine? Surprised to hear you're interested in, in, in that sort of thing. An occult uh, enthusiast, I know, has been telling me some things. Anything you know would be great. Let's see, one moment. She has a book, maybe? Natsumi makes her way to the bookshelves in the back and pulls out a single notebook. That must be what she uses to compile the info she gathers. Okay, hmm, let's see. She studies the pages briefly before returning the notebook to the shelf. Sorry about that. I don't know many details as I don't use urban legends often in my books, but... Mm. It originated from the Kisoji pregnant murder, woman murder that happened two years ago. Nice. The Kisoji pregnant woman, woman murder. What a... That's a horrible translation, honestly. I would say... The Kis Kisoji murder of a pregnant woman or something. Sounds better. Pregnant woman was killed by her midwife. Oh! Maybe the Urashima Onna is the midwife and not the woman herself. And she wants the baby because it's not her baby. The midwife wasn't able to conceive no matter what she tried. It caused her a lot of anguish and she completely fell apart over it until finally she killed the pregnant woman after she gave birth and stole the woman's baby. She filled a suitcase with the corpse, other evidence and a lot of rocks. Threw it into Urashima Lake. Holy shit. The midwife was arrested a few days later. Exactly as she confessed, they found a suitcase in Urashima Lake, but... They claim it was empty. She delusional? No corpse, no evidence, no rocks, nothing. So the baby survived? The murder must have been how the rumor of the Urashimona started. You don't look so good, Gabu. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What I saw through a blood material matches the Kisoji pregnant woman murder. I bet the woman wasn't completely dead, so she woke up inside the suitcase, and she saw the Tamata Sanctum. Tamate. Alright, I need to be heading off now. Kabu, let me and the police handle searching for Ami. Don't go do anything reckless, okay? She looks at me sternly before she turns and leaves the bar. Her intuition's too good. She must have sensed something in my voice. I mean, it's obvious they're up to something. Maybe it's a mother's intuition, since she's legally my mom now. Don't feel like going back home. May as well stay here until we're supposed to meet. Wouldn't hurt to clean the place of dust while I'm here. I owe Aunt Natsumi that much, at least. Ah, that clock. That clock sounds so familiar. Before I know it, night falls. <laughs> the shoot today took longer than I expected. Oh, something smells good. I just brewed some espresso. Want some? Yes, please. I would like a cappuccino. 
I don't serve anything that's a pain to make. <laughs> wow, you're a horrible barista. I went to the trouble of finding info on the Urashima woman. Urashima onna. You could at least serve me. I bet you'll be horrified when you hear about the incident that happened at the lake two years ago. The Kisoji murder. I'm just gonna call it the Kisoji murder, right? Oh, are you an esper? <laughs> of course not. I heard it from Natsumi. Ah, then I can cut to the chase. I wonder if the woman who died turned into the, the Urashima onna. Maybe. She was killed after a kit was taken from her. It would make sense for her to turn into a ghost. True. I would become a spirit too if that happened to me. By the way, whatever happened to the kid that was taken by the midwife? I don't know. I'm not even sure if the child is alive or dead. The news at the time censored his name to Boy T. Ice tea! Guess we can't use that as a lead. Phone call? Looks like I got a text from Aman Amanome. Are you kidding me? I don't know if I can't make it today. What? Was he cursed into getting into an accident? No, not that. He apparently suddenly got work business he needs to take care of. And by work, does he mean like raids, extortion, things like that? Don't ask me. Well, there's no point in waiting then. We can head to Yamato Shrine by ourselves. Yeah, let's go. How are we gonna get in though, if no one can distract the guard? Oh, by the way, thanks for the coffee. It was ten times better than the stuff my manager brews. Gee, thanks. Hey, Gabu. You, want, you wouldn't happen to be interested in being Momo Kurose's personal barista, would you? No. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Hazuki and I leave the bar and take the usual path towards Yam Yamato Shrine. This is the third time we've come to the shrine's main entrance. Now how should we get in? The plan from yesterday won't work with just the two of us. Hmm, you're right. We might be able to do it if the, it's the same Momo fan security guard as last time. Or we can force our way through the gate. Let's just look around some. Yeah, I would like a different, different way in. This is all stuff we've looked at before though. Look, on the other side of the gate, there's a guard inside the park. I can see the light from a flashlight flickering back and forth in the dark park. <sighs> Guess forcing my way in is off the table. Fuck. I approach the security station to try talking to the guard. May I help you? This voice is considerably more serious than what I heard yesterday or the day before. Is the park already closed? Yeah, sorry to say we're closed for today. Please come back again another day. Ah, I see. Anything else you need? No, that's all. The guy definitely is straight-laced. He doesn't look the type to chat with visitors. Doubt I'll get any info from him. I sense someone moving in the- someone moving around in the back room. I guess there are two guards on duty tonight. Damn, it's not just him. Can't use the same method as yesterday. Fuck. We can use items here. Guard's card, maybe? I take out the card. No, okay. I, I don't know. I was just thinking. Maybe. Well, damn. Looks like we can't do the phone plan. Or force our way in. Sorry, I got a text. I was like, what did it say? <laughs> Sorry. It's not worth it if we're going to get caught immediately. Shoot. That guard over there at his post has been staring at us for a while. I think he's suspicious. Probably because of how you're dressed. No, no. I'm sure you realize that you give off some rather intense vibes. You look like you'd punch anyone who comes close. I don't know why. <laughs> It would be a problem if he calls the police. We should leave now. Guess we don't got a choice. We decide to retreat and don't go into the park today. Fuck! Amanome might have thought of a good way in if he'd been here. 
Is there no other way we can get in? Just the main gate? There must be multiple gates, maybe gates that are less guarded. We arrive outside Kisoji Station earlier than usual, and there's a bunch of people still out. A lot of storefronts are still open too. Well, this is kind of an awkward time. Do you want to explore some haunted areas? I do enough of that as, as is. I suppose you're right. Welcome back, cat. Now that I think about it, it was about this time when we first met. That's true. With uh, Maruhashi. It's really only been a week since I met Hazuki. Time's passing so slowly. Guess a lot has happened this past week. Maybe that's why. I hope Ami's alright. Hey, Gabu. There's a place I want to go. Would you come with me? Yeah, sure. That's a big help, thanks. That's a big oof. Alright, let's go. I follow her as we enter a building in front of the station that I recognize. It's the flower shop Hazuki and Ami brought to me to before. Like last time, Hazuki asked them to wrap up some flowers that are in season. Okay, we're ready. Oh, we're gonna talk to uh, the dead friend. She leads me through the darkening city. We're kind of going towards my place, but the route is different. We arrive at... Oh, hey, this is different. A dim, deserted cemetery. Looks pretty overgrown. So we are going to a haunted spot. No, we're not. This is where Yuri's grave is. Oh, Yuri, yeah. I got confused because Shikiyoku also has a Yuri, and I was like, no, it wasn't Yuri, because that's Shikiyoku. She must mean Yuri Takamura, her best friend. So, we're doing a grave visit. Kind of late for one, don't you think? It gets difficult to find time to visit when you're a celebrity. Besides, Yuri's ghost might make an appearance if it's this time around. If it's around this time. God, my arm is entirely red, because BB can't stop licking my arm. I guess, if you want to think of it that way. We walk down the narrow path between graves, guided by the moonlight. Yuri's grave stands quietly far in the back of the cemetery. Hazuki offers the bouquet, 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 yeah, to the grave, then bows her head and prays. I take a moment to close my eyes and pray myself. My soul to keep. Once we finish, we make our way back to the street. Arigato. Thanks for coming with me. There was just something that I wanted to promise Yuri. <clears throat> promise? About Ami, of course. I promised that I would save her. Are you sure about this? What do you mean? Things are different from two days ago, when you first stuck your nose in this. Diyurashima Onna is real. You could die, you know. I like this song. Da -da -da -dun -dun. Don't underestimate me, Gabu. My mind was made up the moment I told you about Momokurase. Besides, I know Yuri would have done the same thing if she was alive. That's so. Looking into Hazuki's eyes, I sense her strong will. She's determined to see this through. Fine, do what you want. I will. Also, I can't forgive how she makes a cute girl like Ami suffer like this. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 dun. What's all this about? Polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. Good ear for music, better than me at dancing, plus she triggers the protective instinct. She'd make a fantastic idol. Uh, I don't know how I feel about my younger sister becoming an idol. Looks like you're against it. Anyway, I'm done here, so we can go. I doubt the cemetery at night is a fun place for amateurs to hang out. What do you mean by amateur? We leave the cemetery and head back to my apartment. It's late, but at least it doesn't take long. Is she coming with me? Thanks for today. It sucks we didn't get anywhere with the investigation, but I had a good time. Oh, and complain to Amanome for me. He'll probably be all smug, saying, Guess you guys can't do anything without me. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Her laugh trails off as she looks towards my apartment. Oh yeah. Has anything else strange happened to you? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, there was something. I tell Hazuki what happened last night. Oh god, it's escalating. Maybe you should stay somewhere else for a while. Will me running solve anything? 
You have a point. If it's a curse, I'd probably chase you down anyway. It would probably chase you down. There's no easy way out of this. Though this stuff is just bad pranks for now. Nothing I can't handle. You should set up countermeasures for ghosts before it escalates any further. Scatter some salt around and burn incense. Oh, I have something! She opens her bag and pulls something out. It's a bracelet made of seven colored stones. Hazuki slips the bracelet onto my wrist without even asking. Talisman. I'm giving this to you. It's a talisman bracelet I bought off an infomercial. <laughs> the key is the seven colored stones. They offer power and healing. They say seven colored items draping over Kobodaisi is how he escaped calamity. Kobodaisi is a... Uh, if I remember correctly, he's a... He's a saint. He's a dude from the past. Uh, who is like a big... Famous Buddhist priest. If I remember correctly. There's a bunch of statues of, for him around... Uh, Shikoku, where I used to live. The island where I used to live. Because there is a pilgrimage she can do around the coast you visit 88 temples and I think Kobo Daishi was the dude who made the pilgrimage who like dotted out the route so I'm sure it'll have some sort of effect <clears throat> but you bought this off an infomercial that's not suspicious at all don't discriminate against infomercials it had an overwhelming number of reviews saying they found happiness because of this. Now I trust it even less. Whatever, I'm going now. See you tomorrow. I hope I can save in a bit. That would be perfect. She hurries off through the dimly lit alley. I watch until she's out of sight and then pull out my phone to type a message to Amanome. I only mentioned how we couldn't get into the shrine to investigate because of the guards. Gotta think of a way. Because Ami's involved, I can't drag my feet in on this. Can't we just go in the park while it's still open and then hide in the bushes? Or is that too too easy? We could get into the we couldn't get to the lake today. Everything seems okay in here. I'd like to think I won't have a a repeat of yesterday, but I'll check the bathroom faucet just in case. Okay, let's do it. Uh although I could also save now, right? How do I do that? Mm, not by doing that. I don't think I can save right now. No, I can't. Ha! Perfect. Today's episode is that one. Did I save now? It's so quick! Uh, 1335. Yep. Okay, that was it then for today's episode. Um, I definitely want to do keep these up like at a quick pace maybe try even do one a day until we finish it um maybe the weekends i won't be able to do every day i don't know if i have the time um because i usually have a lot of plans in the weekends but um i definitely am really into this and it's so nice to record and it's nice to see people are into it as well on youtube so um ooh, kitty nails so uh i can actually show you while i talk there <laughs> <laughs> he just turned around. Um, but yeah, I think uh, it's super fun to do this, so I definitely want to keep doing uh, an hour a day if I can, uh, even if it's the second upload for YouTube. So um, keep an eye on it. I don't know what time. It's usually five or between five and eight p.m. if I can uh, for uh, European time. YouTube, I mean. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll be back soon with another hour. Thank you guys. Bye bye.